We rolling? We are rolling. I need some big fat transients to fuck with. <laughs> okay. Um, kia ora. My name is Ryder. I'm a drummer from Wellington. Um, I started playing drums when I was pretty young. I, um, I studied at New Zealand School of Music last year, studying jazz at Vic, and it was kind of all I wanted to do after high school. And then I ended up dropping out this year, so I, and then I decided to just pursue music on my own accord. Yeah, it was a tough choice leaving uni, but it was all like, it kind of, once I really thought about it, I was like, oh, it kind of was like the obvious choice. I was not really enjoying it as much as I thought. And I think, yeah, if, if you want to go and play music, go and fucking play music. I was, yeah, obviously playing music from a quite a young age. It's just, a, you know, you're a kid. It's, you don't really know where it's going to end up. And then I remember being in about middle of high school, kind of just being like, well, I don't really like doing that. I don't can't you know do maths and English, and I yeah, I don't want to go and write or doing like I'm not that good at art. That's not my thing. So I guess it has to be music kind of thing. I was like, oh fuck, there's, no, there's nothing else I've like ever been like good at. So then I kind of made that conscious shift to like start treating it like a job. I've been playing with D since about July last year, so that makes it just over a year, a year and a few months. I just remember seeing them play solo, being like, damn, they were looking for a band, so it just kind of all, all came all came into place, and then we found, well, D found Max, we had a rehearsal, and shit just clicked. It's been great, and then, yeah, they're just such a great songwriter, so great to work with. Yeah, the way that band form is, like you want to say there's no no two bands form the same way, but they all kind of do. Like it's just a, it's just a, like you can't really explain like why. It's like, you know, it's like how do you write a song? Like what makes a good song kind of thing. It's just like a, fuck no, it just happens. So like, yeah, and you can tell when shit's going to work, you know when it's not going to work. I saw D and kind of pursued them and was like, I knew there was some talent there. Yeah, so I work two days a week at a cafe, just being a barista, and I um, kind of try and play as many gigs as possible on the side. I suppose just like, you know, pays the bills kind of thing. But eventually I want to get to the point where I can play gigs full time, or however, whatever that takes, like, you know. I'm in a few bands. It does vary a lot. Can be seven, can be two, like, Right now there's about five rehearsing bands. So often your own gigs, small venues around town, it's like, you take the door sales, you split them evenly between the musicians. Can be hundreds, 
can be 10 bucks. I've played gigs where I just haven't got paid because we just the expenses were too high and it could have been a full room, but you know, we fucking got someone on lights and sound and and posters and, and or whatever, travel to the gig, gas money took up all the price and you gotta weigh up that option like is this is this worth it? I've definitely thought about like not doing music. It's something that goes through your mind. I think like, I'm sure you could ask every musician artist this. Like, I mean, I guess one day everyone has the ability to like make it work. It's just how long can you endure this like stage of fucking being broke and like working 24 hours a day, just like doing so much for so little. Like, can, do you really love it enough to do that? Or is it like, oh, actually, a stable job kind of sounds kind of nice. But I've kind of learned you go in and out of love with it. It gets to the point where you do it so long that it becomes like an unconditional family kind of love where like, yeah, you know, you argue, and, but you don't actually hate them. You know, it's just like, you don't argue with your brother and then fucking <laughs> go, all right, I'm, never, I'm not coming home tonight. I'm fucking moving out. You know, it's just like, oh, you gotta learn. You get over these things and you go, okay, this is not my month or this is not my year even or not my week, not my day, whatever. Uh, my name's Hugh. I am one of Ryder's flatmates and longtime friend. My name's River, and I'm also Ryder's flatmate and longtime friend. Same for Shay. I uh, I'm Shay. I'm from Sweden, and I'm uh, staying here in Norm Ryder two year now. And uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> no, I was on a roll there. You put me off. <laughs> okay, nah. <laughs> So it's not as long here. I'm like, no, no, I'm like so minorly allergic. I'm only allergic if I like pick it up and right, cuddle yeah, it and yeah. I just get like a little bit itchy. Because you must have got done at Flynn's though. No, I was fine. Like, I'm, like I said, I'm like, like not, shits I'm not actually very allergic at all. Right, what are you doing, Ryder? A little jammer. Um, I'm trying to get this. It's more so what's the most? What's this? Drumming's fucking annoying as. Yeah, it keeps me up. I gotta tell him to shut up every day. You know, when he does drum though, it's amazing. You know, it's yeah. very spiritual, and he's, you know, he's a, he's a, he's a blessing on this earth with his rhythmic drumming. Um, but I will tell him to shut up. Yeah, me too. If it's like, because he'll come home, right? Eat the food that I've made. Wake me up with his drumming, and then leave. And it's like, what am I supposed to do? You know. Yeah, I think the thing with Ryder is he's got, 
and he's got the skill and he's also got the motivation work ethic yeah work ethic. the gift of optimism yeah. gift of optimism <laughs> yeah this is one of his biggest strengths i think yeah, I think one of his biggest strengths is his gift of optimism. I don't think I've... I could probably count the times on my hands through all our years of friendship I've seen him unhappy. And so I think that for his goal, that's really a big part of who he is. Did you have anything else you wanted to get out? Any, like, final words? Uh, you owe me 90 bucks on Flatastic. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I think he's just a genuine uh, good person to be around. Do you think he's going to Mm-hmm. Yeah, for sure. I think the thing is with Ryder is that he's already succeeding because he is so already happy doing what he's doing that whatever comes is just like bonus and that means shit will come because he's like, you know, he already just loves doing what he's doing each day so I think he definitely will succeed. Mm-hmm.